Welcome back to the Value Investors Club. I'm your host, Timon Wunderlich. Let's get right into it with VIC readings. This is not recommendation. This is only for information and purposes. And let's get right into it. All rights belong to the VIC. And our recommendation was filed in by Sextant. Sextant. Um, Computer Modeling Group LTD CMG dot on September 7th, 2022. Description, background. Computer Modeling Group, CMG, is a Canadian software company currently focused on the oil and gas sector, specifically reservoir simulation and modeling. The company originated as a research organization under the University of Calgary with the commercial activities licensing its reservoir modeling software spun off into CMG in 1997 through an IPO. The nonprofit activities were retained as Foundation CMG, later renamed Energy Simulation, with no financial ties to CMG, but friendly collaboration still exists. Reservoir simulation softwares are used by OG companies, ONG companies, to visualize and analyze uh, the underlying reservoirs, how the resources are trapped and expected to flow under various drilling production scenarios, and help predict the fluid flows of and optimizing drilling and risks and economics. CMG has approximately 35% market share of the reservoir simulation market, with the main commercial competitor being Schlumberger's Eclipse Solution, approximately 55% market share. Halliburton and Baker Hughes also has their own software but seems to have become outdated and fallen out of favor with the market. There's also upstarts like ResFrag and Eclipse copycats like Russian-based Rockflow Dynamics, but they are relatively small in the market. In-house solutions of big oil majors are also alternative. The advantage of CMG comes from its Canadian roots and university roots. The product is strong and modeling unconventional reserve, likely due to the nature of Canadian resource base being heavy in oil, oil sands and other unconventional resources. As per past commentary from management, they over-indexed in market share for unconventional oil and gas. The, uni the university root of, uh, roots of CMG also probably helped shape their grassroots strategy. CMG provides their software for free to over 100 universities around the world, including some of the most reno renowned petroleum Pretor engineering schools. Texas A&M, University of Adelaide, Stanford, Imperial College, ETC. This is a popular software, uh, software strategy as the engineers would be schooled in CMG software, gotten used to its interface and functionality, and would transition seamlessly in the job that licensed the same software. The business is also highly technical, a highly technical one, and with different entry barriers as you need more than codes to replicate the product. CMG has slightly more than half of its staff in R&D. Over half of those staffs, uh, staff have uh, PhDs and spends approximately 20 plus percent of revenue on R&D. But as expected with other O&G related business, the last few years before the energy run up this year had has been a headwind. CMG's revenue peaked at C Uh, Canadian dollars of 85 million in 2014 and has declined to Canadian dollars of approximately 66 million as clients gradually reduced budget, reducing licensing seats or have merged been acquired by competitors. This roughly mirrors the decline in petroleum engineers employed, approximately 17.5% in US as per Bureau of Labor Statistics. Margins declined as well, but still relatively fed, went from approximately 50% EBIT margin to 40%. The important recent event is the change in management and likely change in strategic direction of CMG. For a long time, management at CMG were decent but conservative. 
The company is a highly successful single product, but was unable to expand into other areas. They have co-developed a, a production system, modeling software, but hasn't had much success commercializing. One shareholder likely got impatient, uh, impatient and rushed for exchange. And in 2019, Mark Miller was introduced as a new board member. For those not familiar with Mark Miller, is the COO of Constellation Software, a highly regarded acquirer of vertical market software company. That was a following that was followed by appointment to the board of John Billowitz in January 2021st, another former executive CFO CEO of Vela Operating Group of Constellation Software. Finally, in February 2022, Mark Miller took over chairmanship of the board. In May 2022, a new CEO was hired, Promote, Pramod Jain, who came from the travel software sector but has experience integrating acquisition and acquisitions and mostly uh, and most recently the hiring of a new head of corp development that's also a Constellation alumni in the M&A department. You can see where this is going. The thesis. Our base thesis has nothing to do with a management change or change in strategic direction. Everyone can see where the energy, energy price is and where the energy market is heading towards. We believe there's pent up growth for Z CMG's existing product that will be realized in the coming years. Oil and gas company budgets are set the end of the year and most of CMG's deferred revenue booking happens in calendar Q1. That means CMG's business lags the movement in oil and gas prices. But we believe at the end of the year when company budgets, budgets are set, there will be pent up growth for additional software licensing seats. CMG has also started raising prices over the last couple of years and we think pricing will further contribute to the next into the, in the next budget reset. After bottoming last year, revenue growth have already started to inflect, rowing high single digits in the last two quarter. We think we are paying approximately 15x enterprise value to this year's free cash flow and likely approximately 10x free cash flow when this pent-up growth is realized. Then the constellation strategic direction change angle is just icing on the case on the cake for the thesis. Though if everything goes well with the icing, uh, will the, if everything goes well, the icing will likely be much bigger than the cake. To be clear, we don't think CMG is an acquis acquisition target of Constellation Software, at least not yet. We do believe that Constellation Software has gotten too big for many of its acquisitions to move the needle. That's not the case for CMG. And if the same expertise that made Constellation successful can be transplanted to CMG, then this could become quite an interesting situation. I do not hold a position with the issuer such as employment, directorship or consultancy. I and or others I advise hold a material investment in the issuer's security, catalyst, end of year ONG company budget commentaries. Acquisitions in the near term, you'll have the judge uh, whether the acquisitions will make sense. But nonetheless, the market will likely get excited this is not recommendation only for information purposes. Thank you very much for tuning in. I hope um, I didn't start it too much. My nose is running, which is why I'm a little off this week. But thank you very much. Bye.